With the world's attention focused on the pandemic and attempts to find a cure, it seems like the perfect time to pull off a coup. Venezuela has just experienced events that sound like they come from a Hollywood movie. The military there says they've thwarted an armed invasion. Pretendieron they try to carry out an invasion by sea, a group of terrorist mercenaries from Colombia, in order to commit terrorist acts in the country, murdering leaders of the revolutionary government. Venezuelan officials declared victory. Eight members of an armed group were killed. Others were arrested. Weapons were seized. Now, Venezuelan officials say that these weapons had actually been stolen during a coup attempt last year. As a result of the immediate reaction, Several of the aforementioned mercenaries were killed in a confrontation, and others were captured, some linked to drug trafficking, who participated in the organization of the terrorist operation. A significant amount of weapons and equipment was also retained, part of which were stolen and used in the subversive action of April 30th, 2019. So who was behind this operation? Well, according to the Associated Press reports, it was a former U.S. special operations officer named Jordan Gaudreau, who worked with retired Venezuelan military leaders to plan an invasion. They planned to use 300 Venezuelan military defectors to seize the capital within 96 hours. Now, that's easy to dismiss as a conspiracy theory, except we have video evidence. Here is ex-Green Beret Jordan Gaudreau explaining and confirming the existence of Operation Gedeon. A daring amphibious raid was launched from the border of Colombia deep into the heart of Caracas. Our men are continuing to fight right now. Our units have been activated in the south, west, and east of Venezuela. Commander Nieto is with me, is co-located, and Commander Sake is on the ground now fighting. Video shows that participants in Operation Gedeon were wearing blue armbands, blue armbands that were very similar to those worn by the soldiers who participated in the coup attempt by opposition figure Juan Guaido last year. U.S.-backed opposition figure Juan Guaido denied any involvement. He called these events fabricated. This is a fabricated montage where a criminal act manipulated by the dictatorship to continue the persecution towards the interim government, the National Assembly, and the Democratic forces. He hasn't commented on the video, but there's also a new twist. A document has emerged purporting to be a $212 million contract between Juan Guaido and Gadru's security forces. He allegedly hired them to pull off a coup. And later, Gadru complained that he did not get paid. This is certainly not the first coup attempt in Venezuela. April 2019 saw Operation Freedom, a bold attempt to sweep Maduro out of office that also failed. Now, what exactly the coup plotters got wrong this time isn't clear, but more details are sure to emerge. What is very clear is that U.S. efforts to destabilize Venezuela are in full swing, regardless of the global situation. As Venezuela watchers, we've almost grown accustomed to seeing these repeated attempts uh, of sheer terrorism, of uh, the invasion of Venezuelan uh, maritime space and land space uh, in strict violation of all international law. They're not appropriate by any stretch of the imagination. But this lone superpower who reigns over the world feels they have the right to uh, starve and blockade and manipulate elections, install their own um, self-anointed presidential uh, individual in, in Juan Guaido. Juan Guaido has continually sold out his, his own people. Um, this is economic warfare. And, and when that doesn't give them the result that they want, they resort to uh, actual military invasions. No different than the uh, 200 plus US military invasions of the Southern Hemisphere uh, just in the 20th century. And for the US to continue to carry out these attacks at the height of a global pandemic demonstrates just how thirsty they are for more bloodshed and war.